Hi, I'm Chris Haig and this is the Fiddle Channel and today I'm going to play Cumberland Gap. <laughs> Now I started off uh, with this tune thinking I was going to play something completely different <laughs> because um, I've been doing this with my uh, Kaylee band for uh, Donkey's Years and um, it's a very different version. When I came to actually watch a few YouTube versions I realised that this version which I'm going to play was not only completely different but uh, quite a lot better. I would say this is probably the version that most old timey uh, fiddle players play. It's slightly crooked which is a good reason why it wouldn't be used in a Cayley band um, but um, old time players love crookedness and uh, this certainly has it. So let's go through the three sections which this tune has. First section uh, is four bars repeated four times. Key of D, one, two, three, four. <laughs> Without drones, it sounds pretty plain. So um, all of the first bar can be played with A drones above it. Then the second half of the second bar, and in fact, all the way to the end of that line can be played with A, a drones above it. I would probably do a few hammer-ons before the F, before that B, possibly before the next note. Like that. Uh, B section, which is four bars played twice. Nice piece of syncopation in the end of the first bar. And then the third section. Is crooked and I'm always fascinated by crookedness and I try to work out what's crooked about it and why it's crooked and in fact if you look at it this is um, a six bar section and if you repeat the first two bars three times instead of twice then it would make it straight so it would be like this <laughs> Which would be perfectly normal and straight, but not nearly as interesting. So just knowing what that what is missing makes it easier to learn it and to play it and to appreciate it. And we've got a nice bit of syncopation in the third bar. So it's one, two, three, four. tune like this you would play it round and round and round and round and just get absorbed into the tiny intricacies, the extra little syncopations, the drones and all that stuff. And uh, I do find it fascinating the difference between old time and bluegrass um, and this really typifies uh, an old time tune and how you can just get lost in it and play it forever as opposed to the bluegrass ethos of playing fast and furious and flashy. And I do have a video all about this topic, which I endlessly uh, love to go back to, because it's such a fascinating topic. 
But anyway, um, uh, if you enjoyed this, then do subscribe and send me an email. I'll play you out with a couple of times round using the backing. See you again soon. Thank you.